Hey guys, I want to talk to you a little bit today about something that's a little more abstract and is a little deeper and is largely relevant to our existence on the earth here and why I believe that we're here. You can buy into this or not, but I'm going to keep preaching this message because I think this is the one of the most important things you'll ever need to hear is subject matter like this. But the biggest reason why each and every one of you are on this earth here is to learn to live your life with integrity, free from hate, envy, and greed. That's why you're here. That's why you're being put through all this testing. That's why you're being tried. And that's why you're you're going through whatever it is that you're going through right now. It's to, to try to work out those those deficiencies in your being and in your soul. That's that's my belief. And I wanted to just try to put things in perspective and try to give you a little bit of like a higher level way to think about some of this stuff as you go through life. But with it being said that your reason for being here is to learn to live your life uh, for the most part with integrity, there's a reason for that. And it's because when you do finally get to that point and you really do learn to live your life with integrity, you're, you're going to be allowed to graduate on to the next rung of existence, whatever that is, and whatever way you choose to think about that. If you if you're the type of person that believes in heaven or you're the type of person who believes in life after death, it's much more grand than what we have right now. Or um, I guess if you don't believe in, in, in anything after this, I, I can't really help you and you can't really relate on this level. But if you're anybody else other than, other than that sort of thought track, I, I hope we can all agree that there's sort of this system of, of moving up and moving on and getting off the earth and moving away from this this existence that is very hard and that is very very uh, difficult at times and it is it's not exactly the most fun thing to be down here on the earth doing all of what we do in our in our normal everyday lives that's that's probably most of us why we're here is to work on things but I I just I I keep talking about this integrity stuff and I'm I'm going to keep talking about it because it's probably like I said it, it's it's one of the most important things that you're here to to learn to, to to address and to conquer and to to get good at to to really realize the value in living your life with integrity every waking second and every waking moment in every conceivable manner that you can that you can imagine it to be um like I said, there's a reason. If you do that, you get to move on. Okay, you get to go out there and play with the adults. Like right now, we're all just we're all little kids. We're all we're all in nursery school down here on the earth. Okay, and the they, whoever they is, if you believe in God or you believe in the universe, or you believe in some supreme being, or believe in anything greater than yourself, they are the ones that are looking out for you and that are making you stay here on the earth or perhaps keep coming back to the earth to learn this lesson of integrity. And, and freedom from hate, envy, and greed as well. So I hope that that idea resonates. Maybe you can connect with that, that notion in some way, shape, or form, be you a, a Christian or a, a Muslim or a, um, or a, a Jewish person or, or any, any number, whatever religion you subscribe to or whatever theology you wish to think of things in in your life. Um, that's the big picture. Okay, that's that's what that's why that's one of the biggest reasons why integrity matters so much. Why you have to get that right while you're down here. Otherwise, you're on this big, just gigantic merry-go-round where you're probably just going to keep coming back to to the earth or places like the earth, and you're never going to get out of this madhouse, get off this this zoo of a planet until you until you understand that, until you wrap your head around that. It could take you millions of years, right? Who knows? But um, I want to drive that point home, and I I wanted to tell you like a really funny story about um, like a a really really like sidebar connection thing. Like this is going to sound kind of funny or kind of silly, but um, I've always been a big fan of the the show South Park. Okay, South Park is a very crass, abrasive, like just this like rudimentary, almost like immature TV show, this comedy show on the surface level. But if you really, if you really dig a few layers deeper and you really analyze the writing and you look at the message the show is delivering, 
and you really dig a few layers beneath the surface, you'll see a lot more to it. And that's, I think that's the bigger reason why I've always enjoyed the show is because of those deeply laced messages that are inside of there. If you can look past all the little kids swearing and all the, like the crazy humor and the, the ridiculous way that they present, present stuff. And it is extremely ridiculous if you ever watch the show, but there's some really, really solid nuggets in there. And there's a connection to an episode that I wanted to connect to everything that I just told you about integrity and your life and your existence here. There's this really funny episode where um, people on the earth, there's like this um, this spaceship that, that comes down from, from outer space and it's like this fugitive renegade guy. He's on the run and he's like looking for a place to hide all this like cash that came from outer space somewhere, some other whatever dimension, planet, whatever. And he's like, here, humans, like, you know, can you, can you take this for me? Can you hide this for me and do something with it? And uh, humans, of course, are like, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll take this space cash off your hands and we'll, we'll take good care of it and blah, blah, blah. And so the, the fugitive renegade guy goes like darting off and he's uh, off somewhere else in the galaxy. And who shows up next but the, the space police, right? So the space police come through the earth and they're like, hey, have you guys seen this like fugitive? This renegade guy, we're looking for all this missing space cash. And uh, the whole episode is like the humans just playing it stupid and be like, no, no, we haven't seen anything. We've got no space cash here. Like all the while, while they've got all this space cash stocked away somewhere and they're all kind of kind of fighting with each other about uh, keeping it secret kind of thing. But anyways, the whole show runs its course. They go through this whole thing. At the very end of the show, um, the, the, the space police and this like, fugitive renegade guy they all come back together and they confront the earthlings and they're like hey you know basically this was a test the whole time long to just to see how you guys would handle this to see if you guys do the right thing to see if you guys basically had integrity to to fess up and you know not hide the space cash and not do something uh disingenuous or or um you know whatever way you want to look at it and they're like, yeah, this is our litmus test to like know if, if you're allowed to like go out into outer space and interact with all the other gajillions of species that inhabitate or inhabit the, uh, the vast reaches of space and the cosmos and everything. And this is like our way of knowing that, like, yeah, you guys aren't, you go, you're not ready for that. You're not worthy of this. You're not, you're not up to the task. So we're going to put you in this little locked, locked box of space. We're not going to allow you to, to leave this little area because you guys failed the test. You didn't you did not act with integrity and we can't trust you. And um, you haven't learned your lesson basically. And that's it. So the humans are locked away on the earth, all to their lonesome to, to not be able to go out into to outer space and, and interact and play with the big boys and play with everybody else. Cause they just haven't learned their lesson. Okay. And as silly and as crazy and as ridiculous as that sounds, that I see is a loud glaring euphemism of exactly what is going on for each and every one of us on the earth here in the same way that the humans were like put up to this test about, Hey, are they going to do the right thing? Are they going to show integrity? Are they going to show what they're really made of? If they fail the test, they're doomed to repeat the lesson or to stay in their little locked box area of space or stay on the earth or stay in this like human body of existence. Okay. It's the same exact thing in my mind. And that's why you need to pay attention to, to integrity at the end of, the end of the day, everything you do, everything you do, you need to learn to act from a place of integrity. You need to learn to act with integrity. You need to learn to hold yourself up to the standard because I know it might not seem like it to you right now, but when you die, there's going to come a day where it's going to be like that exact same moment where the curtain's going to be raised and there's going to be some kind of supreme thing that was looking over you the whole time, just watching to see if you did the right thing. And they're going to be like, oh, you know, you, you totally didn't do the right thing. So you haven't learned your lesson. Go back down to the earth, go back into your, your existence of life and try again. Okay. And I think the idea is that I do believe that every one of us probably wants to move up and, and advance on to greater things and, and go to heaven or go to paradise or go to whatever else you believe comes after this. But a lot of it, if not probably most all of it, boils down to integrity. And so that's why I'm, I'm, I keep driving at home. Everything you do on this earth, guys and girls, you have to act with integrity. 
it's hard. It's not easy. It's not always the simple thing to take the high road in life. But I challenge you, I'm telling you, this is the way you have to learn to think on these terms. You have to learn to operate in these terms. You have to learn to live this lifestyle of integrity. Okay. Honest integrity. It, it means so much more to your greater existence than you probably understand right now. And you need to keep that in the back of your mind. I hope this message resonates with you. I hope this makes sense to you. I hope this means something to you guys and girls out there. I hope you remember this, this little funny story about this South Park episode as crazy and as silly as that sounds, but this is, this is the reality of your being. Okay. This is, this is a big reason why you're here. It's not, it's not your Xbox and your, your little, your car, your money, your, all this other stuff that those are just kind of tools and props that are used to teach you lessons. But at the end of the day, a lot of it boils down to, like I said, integrity and learning to live your life without hate, envy, and greed. Those are the biggest tenets that, that will, will yield you greater things after all this, whatever that is, whatever way you want to think about that, whatever that means to you, that is the truth as I see it and as I believe it. And I hope that that can resonate inside of you in some small way. Okay. All right, guys. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'll talk to you real soon.